how to use the float switch for SF2 and SE1 solar water pump. To show the setup, for using the float switch with SF2 and SE1 solar water pump, you would require a float switch with IEC connector and a float switch Y cable. Note that the Y cable used for the flat switch is different from the Y cable used for connecting two panels in parallel. Here are the connections of the Y cable with the float switch, pump, and solar panel. We can observe that the single male IEC connector on the left hand side connects to the motor. The rectangular female IEC connector on the right hand side connects to the solar panel and another female IEC connector on the right hand side connects to the float switch. After the connections we need to adjust the distance between the float switch and the weight. We can position the weight according to the maximum and minimum level of the water in the tank at which we want the pump to start and to turn off. For adjusting the weight, we need to loosen the knob on the top of the weight. Tighten the knob once the weight is at the required distance. The distance between the float and weight is kept approximately at half of the distance between the maximum and minimum level of the water inside the tank. The remaining length of wire after the weight needs to be clamped into the tank to make sure the weight does not lower down below the required level. You can also use additional length of extension cable in case the distance between the tank and the pump is too far. Here we have set up to demonstrate the working of the float switch with our SF2 solar water pump. We can observe that the water level is going down in the water tank. As soon as the water reaches its minimum level, the pump turns on and the tank starts filling. Now, as soon as the float switch reaches the maximum level, the pump turns off. In this way, you can set up a float switch on your tank to be used with our solar water pumps.